Today on our countdown to Christmas, I thought I would make one of the most requested projects, and that was a stocking hanger to hang your stockings by the mantle without putting any kind of nails or screws in your nice mantle. This was requested by Steel Penny Forge, KC Meters, Cody, and I didn't write your last name down clear enough for me to read it, so I'm not even going to try to figure out what I wrote down, and JF, all requested stocking hangers, and probably some others did too. So what makes a hook like this special? I'm going to mock up a quick mantle here in the shop so you can kind of see how these work, and hopefully that will explain why stocking hooks are not just S-hooks. Now a common way to do the top of a stocking hook is just kind of a big scroll on the end of a hook, but if it's just a regular S-hook on the bottom, and you put weight on that, it levers on the bottom of the mantle, and it pulls forward, scratches up your mantle, and the stocking falls on the floor. So that doesn't work very well. On the other hand, if you do a similar hook, but you offset the bottom so that the load is underneath the point where it contacts the mantle, it holds nice and solid. Now you could lever back and pull it off, but your stocking should pull straight down, so it should never be an issue. So we're going to do kind of this style of hook. I'm going to do a different variation than this, but the concept is the same. And you have to make sure the distance from the contact point to this bend is tall enough to clear your mantle. As with this example, it's much taller and it works just fine. It just can't be shorter or it'll hang up like this. For our stocking hanger, I'm going to start with a piece of quarter inch square bar. And this is 14 inches long. Again, you need to adapt so that it fits your mantelpiece. If you've got a really thick mantle, you need a much longer hook. And if you've got a little tiny mantle, you don't need such a big hook. So that quarter inch square bar is a little bit over six millimeters square. Doesn't really matter. You can make these out of half inch square bar if you wanted to. And this looks like it's 36 centimeters long. We're going to start just by drawing a nice taper on the end of the bar. I'm going to make this pretty much a parallel taper. I only need to work the edge to keep it in line. And then I want to roll this up into kind of a tight spiral. And this is the, the end that goes on the mantle. You just want to roll that up till yeah, it's about three quarters of an inch in diameter or so. So it's a little bit different than the one we were talking about at the beginning of the video. That's really all we want to do. I'm going to put that in the vise. And just bend this around a little bit. And offset that at 90 degrees. I just want to clean that bend up and make sure it's really a, as close to a 90 degree bend as I can get here. There we go. Next thing I want to do is actually bend the hook so that this is what sits on the mantle. So it'll sit like this and the hook will bend over this way. And to do that I'm going to use this simple little bending jig that I frequently use for S-hooks. Just fits in the hardy hole. And we can just bend this around the jig. And then you can kind of clean this back edge up to make sure it's good and straight. So that's the pad that will hang on the mantle. Now we need to do the hook in for the stocking. I'm going to draw this out into a little bit longer square taper and then round this up.
So that's square. We'll go to octagon and round in the next heat. And I'm going to round just because some stockings just have a little thread loop and I don't want a sharp edge. Nobody wants their stocking to fall on the ground before Christmas morning. It's nice and rounded up and smooth. Let's make a hook out of it. So to start, I'm just going to put the, the usual little decorative curl on the end. This also keeps the sharper point of this from being something somebody will poke themselves on. And then I want to go ahead and bend the hook in. And I'll go back to our bending jig for this. But I'm going to bend it the opposite way this time. I don't think this needs a very big hook. Most stockings don't have great big loops on them. So that's about that. I think we can clean that up a little bit. That yeah, looks better. And now we need to make this hook underneath this pad here. Those need to be in line. I'm going to offset that hook towards the back. Just doing it in the same jig works just fine for me. That's clearly way too far back. Now we can straighten that out. We want this bend pretty much in line here. That's the long heat makes this bend in weird places. You can bend it with a torch or just pay attention to it and straighten it out as need be. But now this hook is pretty much in line there. The next thing I want to do is put a decorative twist in here just because I can. So we'll just put that in the vise. I think I'll do a double twist. So we'll twist it around once counterclockwise. I'm going to turn it over. and twist it clockwise. Try to get everything lined up so it's all straight. And if you squeeze gently you can do some straightening in the vise, but don't squeeze too much or you just damage your twist. Square that back up. That's pretty much it. And of course a nice wire brushing and a waxing is always in order. Give this some highlights. You could brass brush it. You could sand it with a little bit of sandpaper to bring out the high points on the twist. Lots of things you could do. But for the most part that is our mantle hook. So here are our matching pair of Christmas stocking hangers to hang from your mantelpiece. It's another nice simple project. Thanks for the suggestion you folks out there. It may be a little bit too late, but this is probably a good one to take to Christmas craft shows and sales, things like that. But I suspect with only three weeks till Christmas as I film this, and less than three weeks when you actually get to see this video, it's probably too late to get stocked up for this year's show season but maybe for next year. In any case, it isn't too late to make some of these for your own family, for your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers. They're a fun little item and they don't cause any damage to the mantle. If you're worried about a little bit of a scratch on a really fine wood mantle, glue a little piece of leather or felt on the bottom of this, or just set a little piece of something on the mantle before you set this down. A little piece of leather might actually help keep this from sliding even better than just the bare ironwood. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Be sure to stick around, watch a few of the other videos, share the videos with your friends, but then make time in your day to get out to your shop. Make some gifts for the upcoming holiday season, and I hope your holiday season is an absolute joyous one. But in any case, stay safe, wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you for the next one.